Hello everybody, my name is Zathrodoc, and welcome back to Zathrodoc Plays Magic 2015. Uh, so last episode we unlocked Theros and got a bunch of cards. Um, but real quick before we start going further into the game, there was that locked bit of Innistrad that said explore, so let's go back and take a look. Explore Innistrad. I have no idea what this does. But let's find out together, as a group, as a team, as friends. Uh, your opponent's crazed experiment seems self-destructive. Is there some mad plan? Alright. Um, this is a bad starting hand. Draw new. That's a lot of land and not much creatures. But, well, it's five, so... That'll hopefully keep me fed throughout the majority of the game. It's gonna possibly be a hard start if I draw a bunch of land. But at least I'll get turn two and three, so I'll have stuff to do. Water. Uh oh. On the plains. This is all I can do. Wasn't expecting this to be another match. I thought it was gonna be like a story tell, click and stuff and things. A uh, target player puts the top two cards of his or her library uh, into the graveyard. Draw a card. Well, that sucks for me. Oh wait, no, he! Haha! -ha! So he draws a card and I lose nothing. Sacrifice Alchemist Apprentice. Draw a card. Alright then. Creatures, so there's a bonus. Let's continue. See if he bites. Mr. Mad Science. Not even a scientist, you're just science. Cool. So let's put another red down and we will get. Mr. Fire again. Seeing as he does not have enough islands out to, uh, rather mana out to counter it yet. Assuming, of course, there's a counter in his deck, which, as a blue deck, is quite likely. And it, well, I guess it makes sense for him to attack with it because I've got nothing to block. Well, I can, it's just a bad trade for me, so we'll skip blocking. And let's see, if you would draw a card while your library has no cards in it, you win the game instead. So that's a good card if you're playing a deck that is really all about drawing cards. Um, but now that I'm looking at it, he only has 27 cards left in his deck. Oh boy. Alright. Let's, um... We'll go ahead and enchant this guy. This way I can still do damage. Um, sure, I'll put another mountain down. Attack. I need to get rid of that. So if I pull a shock, I can take it out, but... Uh, draw three cards, then put a card from your hand on the bottom of your library. So that'll bring them down to 23. I guess 24? Cards in the deck. So it's not quite scary yet, but if we get real low, or rather if he gets real low, then it could become real scary. that. He has nothing to block it with, and he has no mana. And I'm gonna put this out. He 
may attack with this one. Probably not going to attack with a 2-2 because I can take it out and that might be uh, what he needs to use to win the game. Meaning if he decks, then he'll win. Hello, dragon. Once again, I cannot summon you. I need two more mana. Do that. And... Victory! I didn't even pay attention to his health. Was it that low? I'll take it! New booster! Innistrad! Shiny Skullhead guy! Woo! So another prey upon... Walking Corpse! Just a 2-2. Two -two. Another dead weight. Moon Heroine! Flying! Okie doke. Hey, it looks... it's like a crane. Alright, um... Hysterical Blindness. Creatures your opponent control get minus four, minus zero until the end of turn. Okay. Bleeding distraction we got. Uh, let's see. Malfeld, Malfeld twins. Oh, no. Something. Uh, when they die, put two, two, two black zombie creature tokens onto the battlefield. Pretty cool. Uh, Niblis of the Breath. Uh, flying. Pay one island and tap. You may tap or untap target creature. That's helpful. Another Seraph and another Mentor of the Meek. Not bad. Well, that definitely was not what I was expecting um, when I decided to explore Innistrad, but um, fun nonetheless. So, the next episode, we will begin our adventures through Theros. So, I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves, and if you are, if you could please like, favorite, and subscribe. It's a real help, and I really appreciate it. And, uh, yep, thank you all for watching, and I will catch you in the next episode of Zathrodoc Plays Magic 2015. See ya! He actually was trying to help you, though. I mean, he's a little grabby, but maybe he's a good person. Hoochoo! <laughs> My torch! He was my best friend! Oh wait, uh...